Hey, what's up guys? My name's Zach. You are watching the 3FG Don't Starve Walkthrough Guide. I'm going to be taking you guys through um, the... Oh, got a little overzealous there. Okay, hold on. Alright, okay. I'm going to start everything off on default uh, for all you guys that are just starting into this game. Um, my goal is to show you my techniques on how to get to winter and past and then from there I think you guys could have a pretty good grounding to to get where you're going and do what you need to do so okay there's Maxwell the jerk look at him he even looks like a jerk okay so the first thing I like to do is um, is I like to collect all the basic elements I'm, uh, I'm getting as many things as I can on the first day um, what I mean by core elements is, um, is the twigs, the seeds, um, the flower petals, uh, grass tufts, um, and, and flint, and logs as well. Um, I just like to get everything, um, situated in my, uh, in my arsenal so that way we can move forward, um, happy, safely. Oh, nice rocks. Okay, sweet. Some twigs here. Okay. Rocks are going to come in handy because uh, when we want to build that permanent fireplace, we are ready to go. Okay, we got some grass tufts. an axe right now um, start chopping down some trees um, the axe with a hundred percent can chop down 20 logs exactly and that is one full slot on your inventory so that's what I'm gonna be getting together so we can start making ourselves some fire um, because for any of you newbies out there who are just starting into this game as you've probably already encountered as you started into the game is you can die at night um, and the goal is to make sure that you have enough light to survive through the night. So, um, want to make sure that we have enough in our inventory to make those fires happen. So, just going to chop down a few of these trees and then keep moving along. One thing I love about this game is uh, is how the maps are randomly generated. I can't even count how many times I've actually played this game and how many times I've actually died in this game. But um, but I love that uh, no one map is the same. I mean, a lot of the elements you're going to encounter are basically the same. And so you kind of have a grounding once you get your feet wet into the game. But, uh, but as far as the map goes you gotta explore every single time, but I actually really dig that. It gives like a renewability to the game, something that allows you to come back and have a fresh a fresh stance on it all. Grab us some seeds. Seeds are going to come in handy later on because uh, we're going to start looking for areas to build our base. And uh, as we start establishing our base, we're going to need those seeds in order to plant stuff, in order to make vegetables and all those delectable goodies to throw in crock pots to keep ourselves nice and full. Got us some berry bushes. One other thing about the flowers is um, 
is that flowers, uh, more specifically, they help with your sanity. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, the reason why I'm collecting the flowers right now, uh, even though my, my, uh, my brain meter is full, is because once we get to 12 petals, I'm gonna make myself a little, uh, headdress garland, and that's gonna kinda help keep that sanity up for a short period of time. So I just like to have those on hand if I don't have any other uh, garments like a top hat or something like that. So the first day is kind of tedious, you know, you're mainly just collecting a lot of crap. Well, at least this is how I do it, you know, but, um, but it really sets you up on a good, on good footing later on. So you got to go through all the, the long winded tedious stuff in order to get to the more detailed stuff later. So with the twigs and the grass, um, you can collect about 40 per slot, and that's really where I cap off. I don't really go past that until I establish a base, and then I start collecting more later on so I can store it for future use. But um, as we're starting off in the game, I, I try and get myself up to at least 40 of each, and then I just move on from there and start exploring. Petal, there you go. Okay, so now I can make a garland hat. There it is. And I look dainty and beautiful. Um, okay, over here. Right. Yep. Almost there. So we're making good ground on this first day, actually. I am almost maxed myself out on the elements. We're looking pretty solid here. 39. About to hit night. I'm going to have to break out a fire pit. I'm going to hit L2 here. Throw out a fire pit. Bam, there we are. more goodies while I'm at it. Now you don't want to stray any farther away from the fireplace than what you just saw me do, um, or you will get attacked. And I am uh, cooking up some food right now. Um, just trying to get my stomach back up. Um, you can eat them raw, but uh, if you eat them raw, you won't get as much out of it as if you did if you cooked it. So that's why whenever you have an opportunity, I like, whoop, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, whenever you have an opportunity, go ahead and uh, throw it on the fire and get it all cooked up. I'm a bit of a neat freak. I like to have everything organized in the game because it just helps for future use when you're kind of in a bind and you're rushing to grab elements and whatnot. I know exactly where everything is and so um, I kind of have a certain order. That's, uh, that's just me though. Just top off here, get a few logs. There we go, 20, nice. And now we're just waiting for daylight to come. So let's actually check out our map here, right? Yep. Yep, so uh, as you move along the map, it's going to expose new areas and uh, kind of get you some bearings of where you're at and stuff like that. It looks like we're going to start heading, heading upward a bit. The goal is um, roughly, I like to make it at least within eight days. I like to be able to have my, my base established and, and, and building. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes I've done it in, in the second and third day. You know, it just really depends on where they land you on the map and what the map really is yielding for you. So, I mean, this isn't, this isn't too bad. We're actually doing pretty good. I think the next area I'm going to be looking for is, um, is going to be gold and, and, and things like that in order to start building my science machine and stuff like that. So, I'm just going to pile up a little bit of rocks, because that's always helpful. Move on to, uh, 
move on to building um, the permanent fire. Just organize a little bit. Okay, he already took it, never mind. There's a frog right there. Um, probably don't want to mess with those guys unless you have to. You can trap them. You can actually make a uh, make a basket and trap those guys. You get some frog legs out of it. But um, we're not going to do that just yet. Have don't have much need right now. Nice. Here we go. Okay, so this is one of the elements that you actually are going to find in. Uh, in uh, in every map, it's kind of this little I don't know what you'd call it, little broken ruin area. Um, but one thing it always has is a spear, so we won't have to worry about building it just right away. So we'll have a something to protect ourselves. Spear, I believe, is the I want to say it's the third strongest weapon in the game. Could be wrong on that. I know that magic weapons are are definitely the strongest, but uh, as far as a non-magic weapon goes, um, the spear is definitely a good one. Oh, and the, uh, and the, um, I can't even remember the name of it now, crap. Well, anyways, spears are really good. Okay, so, moving along here, I'm gonna go see if I can find some more of that gold. Um, typically when there's graveyard, there is gold laying around. So, gonna hunt around for that a bit. Nice, there it is. Grab some of that. See, as you can see right away, the uh, little thing on the left popped up. That is for the science machine, but we are not done yet. There we are, there's the stuff. So, these rocks with the little lime jaggies going through them, and obviously the, the otter shape compared to the regular looking rocks, those are gold yielding rocks, and we are going to be hunting those down because I want to get some more of that gold. Get some of that. That's a suspicious little dirt pile. I'm not going to dig it up right now, but. When you find the creature that comes along with that, they yield a lot of meat and typically a trunk, which you'll be able to craft into a puffy jacket or a winter jacket, which is going to come in really handy during the winter, which I will probably wind up scavenging for a little bit later. But right now, again, we're going for the essentials and we're only on day two, so we're sitting pretty. Get that gold. I think one of the other reasons why I like this game is, uh, is because I'm kind of a gotta get all the coins kind of guy. I'm sure there are some people out there like me who are anal nutbags, but I like to collect all the crap. And uh, so when I have an opportunity, I will do so. So if it gets a little tedious watching me uh, pick up everything, well, that's the name of the game in, in Don't Starve. You gotta collect the supplies in order to survive. Well, it looks like we're slowly coming up to the end of the first video, so uh, if you liked what you saw and you want to learn more, follow me to day three.
or the second video, or, I don't know, I thought it sounded cool because it rhymed. Anyways, second video coming up, click on the link.